Are you tired of waiting to eco with the rest of your team? Are you too much of a scrub to just force with pistols? Do you want to have the performance of a full buy for nearly the same price as just a FAMAS? Then fear not, the MP9 is for you. The MP9 is not only the strongest SMG, but arguably one of the strongest guns in the game right now. And by the end of this video, you'll clearly see why. So strap in as I teach you how to abuse every one of its broken stats and quirks until Valve finally changes it. First, let's give a quick overview of the MP9, starting with the skins. The skins for the MP9 are probably some of the most mid skins you've seen of any gun. These skins range from My Little Pony, some biohazard poison combination, a single color paint job, or a collection skin that's priced way too high for what it actually is. Now personally, the Pandora's box has always been my favorite, but it all really comes down to personal taste. New skin. What do you think? Whoa, very nice. Look at that. Just unboxed it yesterday. Good coloring. It's called Pandora's box. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. Look at this. That is really nice. Bulldozer, factory new. What do you think? Nice. Jesus. <laughs> that is really super. How do nitwit like you get so tasteful? <laughs> I can't believe that Bryce prefers Van Patten's skin to mine. But wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. Raised lettering. Pale Nimbus. White. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's skin. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. Tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has a sticker. Speaking of skins... Ad time! Want to see some actually interesting skins? Then come on down to skin.club. With 1v1 case unboxings, play against another opponent, and the one who unboxes the most gets to keep all the skins. Don't like your current skin? Then feel free to take a chance to upgrade that too. And the higher your profile level is from playing, the better quality daily cases you can unbox for free rewards every day. And with events always changing, there's always something fresh and new to check out and play. So come on down to skin.club now. 7% deposit bonus link in the description. Please gamble responsibly. Now, let's get into some statistics of the weapon. The MP9 has some very interesting and unique stats that a lot of people may not even be aware of. Starting off, the MP9 is tied with the MAC-10 and P90 for the fastest firing SMG in the game at 857 rounds per minute. It has a strong 26 base damage, but on top of that, it also has the lowest damage drop-off of any SMG. After Valve hit the $1,200 rifle with a nerf bat, the MP9 became the king for long-range spray and prey. But, but seriously, this is supposed to be a cheap ego gun, the CT equivalent of the MAC-10 for like holding close range angles. Why does it need to be that high? What's even better than having the lowest damage drop off? Having the highest jumping accuracy. That's right. Because of its great form factor and poor balancing, the MP9 has the highest jumping accuracy of any SMG. So high that the MP9 is more accurate jumping than it is at running. No, I'm not even joking. Go test this one for yourself in game. And if those stats sound ridiculous, you would be right. In fact, here's another one. Unlike the MP5's slow reload, the MP9 reloads quickly at 2.1 seconds, making it the fastest reload of any gun in the game. Not just SMGs, but every single gun. So don't be afraid to reload this with only half a mag left. When you can empty the whole mag in two seconds, you'll need every round you can get. And for its final and strongest stat, the price. The MP9 costs only $1,250, making it one of the most efficient and cost-effective guns in the game by a wide margin. But we'll get more into that later. Now, 
let's move on to some gameplay tactics of the weapon. With the MP9, you can do anything with this gun. You can hold tight angles, you can run and gun, you can get easy kills at close range, and long range. So let's learn how to abuse those quirky stats in the MP9. With the MP9 having a higher jumping accuracy than running accuracy, this silly stat makes it a very unique gun. Unlike the Scout where you need to accurately time stationary jump shots, the MP9 can spray multiple bullets while running and jumping, making it the perfect and best choice for a second round by you win pistol round. With the T side on an Eco and trying to land a headshot to catch a CT off guard, you'd have no reason to worry about that with the MP9. There's no reason to carefully check corners and clear angles methodically when you can just simply run and jump around corners spraying and praying to dodge the headshot from any T's that could be camping there. And likewise, if you lose pistol round, the MP9 is the perfect buy to catch AK-47 crouch spraying T's off guard. Just make sure to always stay mobile and don't lock yourself into a crouch spray so low. He's so low. Because of the gun's characteristics, B site is the perfect site to play with this gun. My personal favorite site to abuse this is B site on Mirage. It's very easy to force by every round and hold B site solo with an MP9 and full nades. All of this for less than the cost of an M4 with armor. Molotovs and nades can quickly shut down a fast rush, and side jumping to check if anyone is in apps or coming from cat is very effective. And holding van with its jumping accuracy is, well, yeah, just, just go try this one for yourself. It's hilarious. As you can tell, abusing a strong and unique stats is the best way to use this gun. But don't forget the single most important and strongest stat of them all, its price. At $1,250, the MP9 is way too cheap for the value you get from it. An MP9 with full armor will only cost you $2,250, half the cost of a full buy with armor and an M4. And it is the most cost-effective setup in the entire sure, game. Sure. It is the cheapest gun on CT side, maybe excluding the Nova and pistols. And while the gameplay mechanics and stats can make the gun look strong in raw gameplay, the price alone is what truly makes it overpowered. Let me explain. The P90 is a very strong SMG, having great damage, armor penetration, ammo capacity, and running accuracy. However, you never see it used by pros, and only in silver matches. That is for two reasons. A, it's expensive, and B, it gives very little kill reward. This makes it a poor value, despite its sass. For a force buy or anti-eco round, compare it to a MAC-10, a gun which is half the cost and gives twice the kill reward. While the stats aren't as strong as the P90, the value you get out of it is much better. And while the MP9 is technically supposed to be the CT side variant of the MAC-10, there's one distinguishing difference that separates it not just from the MAC-10, but from every other SMG. The MP9 works on full buy rounds. The average game of Counter-Strike usually looks like this. Start the game with pistols, and then move on to cheap eco guns to build up some money, and then move on to full bots. Now, this middle stage of buying eco guns can be a great investment, or even a risk, even if you win the round. Let's say you win pistol round, and you're feeling good and invest $1,200 into something like a Nova, hoping to shut down a B rush and get some easy cash for the next round. Only to find out that they all went to A site, giving the rest of your team plenty of money. Now, you're in an awkward position where your whole team can afford to buy M4s and fully buy the next round, and you're left standing with just Nova. What do you do in this situation? Do you just take the $1,200 loss and drop out the cash for an M4 like the rest of your team? Does your whole team risk playing another round with eco weapons and hope the other team saves again and doesn't force this round? And risk potentially losing this round now? Now you can see the downside with eco guns. While they are good on anti-ecos and force buys, they don't work with full buys. This is why it's always important as a team to save together and buy together to prevent this. This situation doesn't apply to the MP9. The MP9 is better than every other SMG because it works with full buys. This also applies if you're on the losing round. If you lose pistol round and your team chooses to save, and you alone force buy an MP9, 
Oh no, 2250. Whatever will I buy? Even if you die, you can still buy another MP9 next round and buy with them. And with Counter-Strike 2 having shorter matches with MR12, this basically applies to every single round now. You aren't punished for dumb force buys with the MP9. Like, on the one side, the MP9, it does add something useful to shake up the force AK M4 op meta, and for once gives the CT side a chance to run gun, with the insane peekers advantages that CS2 has now, just clearly favoring the T side peeking. And sure, there has been way more overpowered guns in the game before, but at worst, the MP9 could use a price adjustment, and probably should be in the $1,500 slot, and not in the current price it's at. But if we're being real with ourselves, you can't just buy an MP9 every single round and expect to rank up. Like, you'd still need to buy M4s eventually if you want to, like, actually win on CT side, because otherwise that would be ridiculous. So, that's all there is to using the MP9. Tune in next time as I show you how to use the XM1014, and remember, the best SMG on CT side is actually the cheapest. This gun is fucking stupid.